Hello, viewer. Welcome back, and thanks for watching. Today, I'm going to talk some more about so-called wokeness, something that a lot of people seem to think is just being nice to other people who aren't like you, which most of us are for, especially me. I'm all about treating people like you want to be treated, so I don't mistreat people. Wokeness is not what it appears to be, and there's a clip currently trending on Twitter that perfectly exemplifies that, and it comes from a YouTuber named Indy Samarajiva. And he's a writer who apparently appears in Sri Lankan media. However, Indy did grow up in America. And in this clip, Indy demands that so-called whiteness be abolished and that anyone claiming to be white is actually just a white supremacist monster that, in his words, need to be put down. I wanted to show you this clip because it demonstrates a few things that folks like me have been warning about the woke movement for a long time. That at its core, it's not just anti-white, but even genocidal. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, Vanakam, Salam. Today I'm going to talk to you about abolishing whiteness, which, bear with me, it's far less to lose than you'd think. <laughs> I mean, he's not a white guy. He appears to be uh, maybe an Indian man, a Muslim. Uh, he was raised in America, but now he lives apparently in Sri Lanka. Uh, but you know, what effect would that have on him since he's not white? Uh, he's just targeting another group. I mean, the absurdity of what he's saying already just shows you the kind of level of self-awareness we're dealing with here. So why am I talking about abolish whiteness? So what I'm saying is renounce your whiteness, be a decent human being. All right, th this is another point where he's, that's just like an insane statement. He's saying that white people aren't decent human beings. By default, you are not a decent human being. You must renounce what you are, renounce your identity, who you are. You must renounce that until you will be accepted into our fold. And this is part of the woke movement, positioning white people as if they're outside of humanity or something. Well, what does that mean? First off, think about who identifies as white, you know, as their primary identification. You probably don't. The people that identify as white and all for the white race and white power and white pride are Nazis <laughs> and neo-Nazis and people like the KKK. <laughs> If you identify as a white person, you are a white supremacist Nazi and you're basically the KKK. That is what he just said. Now, would this apply to any other group? Is this standard applied to any other group? Of course not. And it's just crazy because this guy is saying basically exactly what we've been saying that wokeism is doing to people all along. When you cast people uh, by their birth, uh, by their skin color, and you broadly judge and condemn them based on stuff that happened in history that has nothing to do with these people, but you've now connected it to them and you've essentially told all the people who aren't white that any problem in their life stems from that group of people, you end up with things like Jon Stewart doing a show where he says that white people are a problem. And the irony of that, of a Jewish man getting on TV and declaring that a whole group of people is a problem. What do you do with a problem? Well, you come up with a solution. And again, here's that self-awareness, that, that lack of self-awareness that becomes dangerous because these people cannot see what they become. Being white is not synonymous with being a racist or being a Nazi or a white supremacist or any of these dehumanizing labels that they want to attach to people in order to justify some kind of action. Just use your imagination. I don't think you would ever find yourself, find yourself, say, in a crowded theater yelling out white pride. And if you're not proud talking about it or yelling it out, then why be it at all? Exactly. And this is the purpose of the propaganda we've been subjected to since I was in school. It is not okay to be proud of yourself if you're white. It's okay to be proud of, of yourself if you're any other group. I believe uh, somebody tried this with chat GPT and asked it, is pride bad? Is it bad? To and with every single group, it says that it's okay to have pride in your group unless it gets to white people. Then on white people, chat GPT says it's not okay to have pride. And of course, you know, that AI and those responses are derived from what it's gathering on the internet. And so that is what, that is the message that is spread through our media and through all of our institutions. And the outcome of that is obviously going to be that you have a group of people here who a great percentage of the country, not just the country, but the world see as some sort of a problem that's got to be dealt with. The fact is that I don't identify as brown. Sri Lankans and Pakistanis aren't getting together to invade Myanmar based on our shared brownness and brown superiority. We can't even agree on what a biryani is. 
whiteness is actually grounded in white supremacy. That's total bullshit because, I mean, if you look at the Japanese during World War II and the Shinto religion, I mean, this was like a supremacist religion where they believe they were the chosen people. Pretty much every group thinks that they're the chosen people, think they're supreme. This is not something that is specific to white people. Something interesting to me that I've talked about before is how much what he's saying mirrors what you would call an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory or an anti-Semitic trope. This, it's all of these things, except for it's repurposed for white people. So when I say abolish whiteness, that doesn't mean you disappear, unless you're a Nazi or a fucking KKK member, and then you can go fuck yourself. Exactly, exactly. This is what they'll tell themselves when they're putting you on a train. You're not a Nazi, you're not a Klansman, right? You, you can tell them that all you want while they're rounding you up and putting you on the train, but they will be telling themselves that you are some sort of a monster. He just got done saying that if you identify white, then that means that you're essentially a Klansman. So what I'm saying is renounce your whiteness, be a decent human being. The people that identify as white and all for the white race and white power and white pride are Nazis and neo-Nazis and people like the KKK. One minute later. So when I say abolish whiteness, that doesn't mean you disappear. Unless you're a Nazi or a fucking KKK member and then you can go fuck yourself. What the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? Telling people that they have to give up their identity in order to be accepted and good people will never work because you're always gonna have people who rebel against that. Sure, you're gonna have people who are uh, sheep and they're gonna go along with it thinking that by doing that, they're being virtuous and they will be liked, not realizing that essentially they'll be making themselves third class citizens and likely they'll end up against the wall as well. But while all that's happening, Happening, folks like this guy will be telling themselves that they're getting rid of Nazis. That's the danger of wokeism, is that it essentially says that unless you're down with our struggle, then you're an inhuman monster that needs to be disposed of. A white privilege, what is privilege? It's not a privilege if everyone else has it, then it's just a right. Privilege necessarily depends on stomping on someone else's right. See. And white privilege necessarily depends on stomping on everybody else. Oh, and that yeah, it's just white people stomping on everyone else. What the hell is he talking about? Who knows, because he doesn't give any examples. That's what you guys need to put down. <laughs> being a better white person is like being a better Nazi. Just don't be a fucking Nazi. What? And this is not like my what? original idea. He's There's a lot being a Nazi. Like, if any white person were talking like this about any group of people, they would rightly call it Nazism because he's straight up saying that you've got to reject your identity. There's something inherently wrong with your identity if you're white and that to be a literal good person, you cannot be a good person and be white. You have to reject that whiteness. Join them against the bad white people. And then those bad white people, that's what they're going to put down. You see how this is going to work? Now. And racism is not just like isolated being mean to people. Racism is part of the system of, that preserves inequality, that causes things like climate change. You can't fight any of these things without fighting whiteness. Right. Because are, it's not right. We are literally, like, he's literally blaming white people for climate change. Like, how do you not see, like, how do you not see that you are a Nazi at this point? Like, who talks like this about a group of people? The only people I know of who talk like this are like Klansmen and Nazis. You see folks, I've been saying for years, one of the things I repeat a lot is that the reason the left is dangerous is because they have no self-awareness. They're constantly rationalizing things as different when they do it because they've been told so many times that when they get into trouble and they do trouble, it's good trouble by virtue of it coming from them. And this all naturally leads to this conclusion that without white people in this world, it would be perfect. It would be a utopia. It's a license to do anything. And that's essentially the license of whiteness. So even the poorest, people always say, oh, but there's poor white people, there's a disenfranchised white people, and that's absolutely true. But in America especially, the but deal has always white. been that the poorest white person could always, you know, stomp on a black person. They would always have that over them. And that's, that's expressed in many ways. That's expressed in lynchings and so on. All right, I'm just gonna stop it right there because he's already said everything I need him to say to prove my point that wokeism is a corrosive mind virus that at its core is nothing but anti-white racism and giving justifications for that. All right, folks, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot again. I'll see you on the next one.